Hello and welcome to the Files Entertainment, I'm a Cinephile Critic and today I'll be reviewing this movie. Oh, so you do want a baby, so why did he... Mother. So Mother is a film directed by Darren Anaroscopy and stars Jennifer Lawrence as Martha, Avin as him. And so what you have is you, as an audience, we are attached to Jennifer Lawrence's character. And we see the world and the anxiety that is, she's feeling through her. She is the window that the audience are give, is given and see events that unfold through her eyes. I have a girl that's confined to this house and she is utterly in love with her husband, Havin. And he is, you know, a poet of some sort. He's a writer. And what happens is you you have this normality that, you know, start, it starts off with and then things start to take a weird turn. And events starts to happen as in, you know, people start coming into the house and she gets uncomfortable with it, but they don't leave. And, you know, he welcomes them, goes out with them, he talks to them. And, you know, she's just trying to find out what is going on, but she never knows what is going on. And so an escalation of some sort happens and then, you know, this is the type of film that we are left with. One of the things I would say is Mother kind of is in this, I would say there's three categories of viewers. So people who are studying academics and, you know, they have to, you know, analyze the frame, the mise-en-scene, the, uh, the props, the imagery, the, uh, even down to, you know, what she is wearing, the lighting, the mood, the camera angles, you are going to absolutely love this one. It's going to be a treasure trove of things to discover and things that you can, you know, read into this film. If you are a person who is, you know, just a person who likes to be entertained by a film, you are not going to like this film. This film is not that type of film. It's not, you know, sit back, eat popcorn, relax and watch what unfolds on the on the screen you're not going to like this film if you are a person that likes alternative cinema you are going probably to like this film it's going to be uh, a good watch for you and so for me i kind of enjoyed it more than maybe what other people would have enjoyed uh, would have enjoyed it um i would say that the first two acts are my favorite when michelle pfeiffer's character comes on into the scene she is marvellous at what she does. She's sort of like an antagonist. She, you know, um, irritates Jennifer Lawrence's character in order to, you know, for her to react to certain things. And, you know, Jennifer Lawrence's character is one though, she's like an innocent in this world. She doesn't really know what's going on and she's just trying to find out what's going on and why these people are in her house. One of the things I love about this film is the interaction between Lawrence, Joan for Lawrence's character and Michelle F Michelle Pfeiffer's character. I feel the interaction is wonderful. Jennifer Lawrence does an amazing job in this film in terms of acting. She is brilliant and especially when it comes to the third act, she really holds her own. Um, the way how the camera um, the close-ups are in this film because there are a lot of extreme close-ups and um, because obviously extreme close-up means you know trying to get the emotions using the emotion and we are linked emotionally to Jennifer Lawrence's character so the way how they shot is handheld it's a bit grainy it is absolutely wonderful the sound engineering in this film bravo you guys done a wonderful job it really sells the atmosphere the uneasiness of this place you know something's wrong it's not necessarily supernatural but something doesn't fit right there's this uh, this sense of uneasiness and the sound engineering gets it right coupled with the um the camera movements and the camera shots and the type of close-ups that you have and um uh, jennifer lawrence's um acting absolutely amazing i will say that from the first act the second act and halfway through the third third act i was really entertained and there's this really interesting scene that happens 
um, in the second act with Michelle, with Michelle Pfeiffer's character and her husband and her son and all these, and Jennifer Lawrence, that I thought when they'd done it, it was marvellous. It was directed very well. It was done wonderfully. But then the same similar thing happens, but in a greater extent in the third act. And I feel that that actually really de depreciates the film. And the way how it was hyped up, the chaos, I felt that it was a little bit too much um, when it came to the third act. Like the third act, halfway, in the, half of the third act is really good. And then when you go towards the other half, it really, the film really crumbles a lot in that sense for me. And I find, I found that I wasn't really enjoying myself. I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really getting what was happening so much. Maybe if I watch it again, I might understand a little bit more. But I felt that halfway through the third act, the film really does crumble and it doesn't really help, um, it doesn't hold your attention and certain things go on too long um, in trying to make a point. And the scenes could be shorter, it didn't have to be so chaotic as you know it ends up being. Um, but having said that, the cast in this film is absolutely magnificent. Jennifer Lawrence's character, how, how she plays her, is phenomenal. And um, Michelle Pfeiffer, they, they, it's seen, the, the gentlemen in these films as well, they are just as good and just as pronounced and fits the type of energy that this film is giving. And I will certify this film as I for Intriguing. Um, if you liked my review on this film, please click subscribe. Um, if you're still like, oh, let me just wait a bit, then hopefully I'll see you soon. And until next time, keep safe. Bye.